Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how I made this super cool T-Rex dinosaur cake. So basically it was made out of Rice Krispies and modeling chocolate. Um, I literally just started with balls of foil and kind of shaped it to like roughly the size and shape of what I wanted the jaw and the skull to look like. Um, just making sure that these pieces matched up pretty evenly. Then once I kind of got the rough, rough size, I wanted to see if I wanted the mouth open or closed. Um, so I needed a way to figure out how to do that. So I just stuck some skewers in there. Um, and then as I put it together, I was realizing that if I stuck them in straight, the mouth would be closed, obviously. And then if I wanted to open it, it would come out in like a weird angle in the cake. So that was kind of puzzling, but I mean, I did figure it out at the end. So now I'm just working on some modeling chocolate. I made this recipe. Um, I used Side Surf Cakes recipe. If you want to check that out, I can leave the link in the bio for her video. Um, but basically you just make the modeling chocolate and then you knead it to like a fondant consistency. And right here, I'm just wrapping it up. I really liked working with the modeling chocolate because you can like smooth it out however I do have like hot hands when I work with it so I always had to like take breaks um, just because the oil from the modeling chocolate um, started like coming out I guess so I had to take a break there and now I'm just adding on the shape the basic shape of the t-rex um, just using my fingers kind of pinching my way through I'm also looking at different pictures that I found online of what a T-Rex looks like. Um, here's the bottom of the jawbone. I'm just building it up because I do want to either put a tongue, um, but some teeth in there. But yeah, here's the tongue. Kind of looks awkward now, but I just used my sculpting tool that I bought off of Amazon. I could leave the link in the description there as well. And I'm just making it smooth so that it looks like an actual tongue and not like scraped if that makes sense with the texture um, so there's the tongue there's some spots that are like a little thin as you can see on the jaw but that's totally fine because I'm just gonna paint it and they're not really gonna eat it anyways so um, I actually said that this was made out of Rice Krispies but I think I just used modeling chocolate I apologize for that but here we are just digging out with another sculpting tool. These are just Wilton sculpting tools that you can find on Amazon, by the way. But I wanted to kind of map out where the eye was going to go. And I figured that instead of just placing an eyeball like on top of the face, I'd rather dig it out. That way the eye is kind of like inset into the skull. That way it looks more realistic. So this is what it looks like. This is what it will kind of look like. Just making sure that everything matches up, lines up evenly. And I'm going to kind of create like the eye bone now. Um, again, I'm just using pictures as a reference and then sculpting out that way. So I'm just creating the eyelid, kind of making sure that all of these edges are pressed in nicely, sealed in together so it doesn't look like I just plopped on modeling chocolate everywhere. And then I'm going to go in and make the final details. So this is another sculpting tool. I'm creating the nostrils, um, just digging the hole and kind of pulling it out. That way it's a little flared, looks more realistic. And I'm using the ball tool to just kind of make those nostrils a little bigger and pronounced. And then this little sculpting tool brings it to a point like a real nostril would be. So as you can see, the modeling chocolate is drying, hardening, and I added a little bit of detail. And now I'm just going in with some edible food coloring and some vodka. Um, the vodka will evaporate, so you don't have to worry about like the little kids eating it or licking the dinosaur. But So I just painted the eyeballs. I'm going to paint more detail um, on the face. I'm believe I used a piping tip to kind of create the little circles that you're going to see on this last video clip here. Um, but I just imprinted the little circles on the face using different sizes. So there's big circles, little circles, just to add some texture. And then I just covered the rest with edible gel color and alcohol. 
And here is the beautiful T-Rex. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a great day and God bless.